Alrighty, you can build several outstanding projects with a Raspberry Pi and one of the most useful is setting up a Homebridge server for your smart home. So in this video, I will show you on how to install Homebridge on a Raspberry Pi the easiest way ever. Hello and welcome to my channel, which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. And I have done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Well, it's obvious that having a smart home is growing in popularity. However, one of the biggest hurdles still is the cross compatibility between devices and ecosystem. Yes, Matter has been released and I am personally keeping my fingers crossed that in due time, it bridges that wide gap by providing a unifying standard. However, Till then, manufacturers will still have you install a branded app to configure and control their smart home tech with sketchy compatibility with your voice activated assistants like Siri, Google and Alexa. And if you're like me, who's heavily invested in the Apple ecosystem and depending on your geographical location, then you are left behind with Apple's own stringent home automation system. Now with that in mind, Enter Homebridge, an open source third party solution that brings Apple's HomeKit support where there is none. Basically, it allows you to integrate with smart home devices that do not natively support HomeKit. Now combine it with a Raspberry Pi, which is a microcomputer or even a small board computer, and you're free to build an Apple friendly automated home at a fraction of the cost. Now once installed, the Homebridge user interface provides an easy interface to install and configure plugins. Monitor your Homebridge server via a fully customizable widget based dashboard, as well as monitor the status from your iPhone using a widget. Plus view and control all of the accessories exposed by the plugins. Now for me on a personal level, Homebridge is a remarkable tool for my smart home needs. It has allowed me to add inexpensive devices into my smart home and control all of them using the Apple Home app. In addition, the software is free to use, widely supported in places like GitHub or Reddit, and it is simple to get it working for any individual smart home setups. So, this is what you will need to install Homebridge on a Raspberry Pi. A micro SD card, class 10 type, anywhere between a 4 GB to 32 GB. A micro SD card adapter to flash the card with the software. A Raspberry Pi, and these are all the compatible models. And in this video, I'll be using a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Lastly, a power adapter to power the device. And depending on the Pi model, you'll need a short ethernet cable to connect it to your router. Now, like I said earlier, the good news is that Homebridge software is completely free with no signups required. However, if you enjoy the software, please support the community of developers who make all of this magic happen. Now, the easiest way to flash Homebridge to your SD card is to download and install the latest version of Raspberry Pi Imager. And don't worry, I've left a link in the description. Once installed, open the Raspberry Pi Imager application. Click on Choose OS. Scroll down and select the other specific purpose OS category. Select the Home Assistant and Home Automation category. Select Homebridge, then choose the latest Homebridge image. Now, go ahead and insert the micro SD card into the adapter and make sure the plastic tab on the left is in the unlocked position, which is moving the plastic tab to the top. Pop the SD card adapter into your reader. Click choose storage and select your SD card. Last but not the least, click on write. Now the Raspberry Pi imager will now download and flash the latest version of the home bridge to your SD card. Now this may take several minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection and SD card. Once completed, eject the micro SD card adapter. Remove the micro SD card. Insert it into the Raspberry Pi. And install the Pi in your desired case. Then connect it to your router with a network cable. And lastly, 
power the device. Now you should give it around five minutes for the Raspberry Pi to start up and then open up your preferred web browser. In my case, it's going to be Safari and type homebridge.local using port 8581. Or you can even use the assigned IP address to access the symbol user interface that you can get from your router's DHCP settings. Now from here, you can literally go through my plugins playlist to install and configure devices that aren't supported by Apple. And also you can take that same Raspberry Pi setup that's running Homebridge a lot more further by giving it Zigbee capabilities by using another fantastic open source software called Zigbee to MQTT. Once you've installed your desired plugins, it's time to connect them to Apple HomeKit. Open the Home app on your iPhone, tap on the plus sign, tap on Add Accessory, then scan the QR code shown in the Homebridge Status tab. And my friends, just like that, you have now successfully installed Homebridge on a Raspberry Pi the easiest way ever. Now, in the description, I've also left a link to the Homebridge wiki page and also on how to install Homebridge using a Windows 10 PC, a Mac, and also using a Synology NAS that has DSM-7 or DSM-6 using Docker. And just like that, that's a wrap up. And don't feel shy to leave a comment down below to keep the conversation going. So until the next time, my friends, I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day, cheers, and happy automation.